From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. And if you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo. The tensions between the U.S. and North Korea took an apocalyptic turn on Tuesday as President Trump vowed to unleash fire and fury like the world has never seen if Pyongyang continues its threats against America. So, you know, just in case we are no longer here on the planet Earth tomorrow, let me say what a pleasure it has been so far to entertain you. David Letterman, who stepped down following a 33-year run as late-night TV host in 2015, has signed on with Netflix to host an interview series. Of his return to work, Letterman says, "...here's what I've learned. If you retire to spend more time with your family, check with your family first." India is having a tomato shortage. French fries still only cost you 99 cents, but if you want ketchup, they're $24.99. After dealing with the next Karate Kid and an attempted reboot of the Karate Kid, now an actual Karate Kid sequel starring Ralph Macchio is officially in the works. I just can't see a middle-aged Daniel's son being all that intimidating. A professor at the University of Georgia is letting students pick their own grade to reduce stress. Where were these people when I was growing up? You may be able to chew gum and walk at the same time, but don't try to text and walk. Distracted walking results in more injuries per mile than does distracted driving, according to a Buffalo, New York emergency room physician. Consequences of texting while walking include bumping into walls, falling downstairs, tripping over clutter or stepping into traffic. The issue is so common that in London, bumpers were placed onto light posts along a frequented avenue to prevent people from slamming into them. When texting, you're not as in control with the complex actions of walking, said Dr. Dietrich Gell, a professor of emergency medicine at the University of Buffalo. While talking on the phone is a distraction, texting is much more dangerous because you can't see the path in front of you. Though injuries from car accidents involving texting are often more severe, physical harm resulting from texting and walking occurs more frequently. Tens of thousands of pedestrians are treated annually in emergency rooms nationwide, and Shell believes as many as 10 percent of those visits result from accidents involving cell phones. Perhaps the anti-gum lobby, you know, maybe they should go after cell phones instead. Sounds like they're more dangerous. Al Gore's new film, An Inconvenient Sequel, had a poor box office opening, finishing in 15th place. Then again, think of all the electricity they saved by not having to fire up those projectors. Anthony Scaramucci, who recently spent 10 days as White House Communications Director, has topped a list of the 50 least powerful people in the world. The list was compiled by the website 24-7 Wall Street and focuses on well-known individuals who've recently experienced a precipitous loss in stature. Placing number two on the list was outgoing New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, former FBI Director James Comey was third, Tiger Woods came in at number five, and Kendall Jenner was sixth. Toilet paper featuring Donald Trump's tweets at 12 bucks a roll have sold out on Amazon. Got the toots? Wipe with the tweets! Two gurneys fell out of the back of the coroner's van and into traffic in Olympia, Washington. One of the gurneys had a body on it and was found in the middle of the intersection, while the second gurney rolled down a street and was found in a parking lot. Are we sure somebody just wasn't filming a sequel to Weekend at Bernie's? Sharknado 5 is on the Sci-Fi Channel this month. I set up my DVR to avoid it. In France, a man was on trial for burglary and the case was winding down. Just before the judge was about to hand down his sentence, the accused got up, pushed the prosecutor down, punched a police officer, and ran. Because of the confusion, he had a pretty good head start. Too bad one of his shoelaces came undone because that's what brought him down and allowed a security guard to catch him. See, now that's why a criminal's best friend is Velcro. A report says euthanasia is becoming common in the Netherlands, accounting for 4.5 percent of all deaths. This is horrifying. I mean, you know, I hear euthanasia can kill you. Irish singer Sinead O'Connor posted a desperate Facebook video the other day asking for help, which is news because she only does that on days that end in Y. The mayor of New York City wants to tax the wealthy to finance much-needed repairs to the subway. 
New York's millionaires all have the same question about the proposal. What's a subway? Fewer teens have an interest in driving. A new study says the share of high school seniors across the country who have a driver's license dropped from 85.3% in 1996 to a record low 71.5% in 2015. With Uber and Lyft already here and self-driving cars on the way, I can see the point. I mean, honestly, fewer high schoolers behind the wheel kind of makes me feel a whole heck of a lot safer on the roads already. With an average temperature of 107.39 degrees in July, Death Valley has set the record for hottest month at a single location in U.S. history. That number is an average of all the high and low temperatures, of which the average daily temperature was 119.6 degrees. Well, yeah, but it was a dry heat. Hiru Nakajima, the actor who stomped in a rubber suit to portray the original 1954 Godzilla, has died. He was 88. He'll be cremated using hot breath from a giant lizard. American Airlines says 10 people on a flight from Greece to Philadelphia were injured Saturday when it briefly encountered severe turbulence shortly before landing. And another couple of passengers got roughed up by airplane employees when they complained about the turbulence. Scientists have found a way to grow human tissue on apples. Be looking for greeting cards saying, you're the apple of my earlobe. A former chef for Queen Elizabeth II says she has four drinks every day. So she's more like us than we thought. Three servers were fired from the Sunset Tower Hotel's Starry Tower Bar on Monday after a photo of Robert Pattinson having dinner with Katy Perry was leaked. Leaked? They were having dinner at a restaurant. It's not like they could experience privacy there. Everybody would see them. Plus, what about the, the free publicity? I mean, you just had two big celebrities dining in your restaurant, and you fire the servers for taking a couple of pictures? They were doing you a favor. In Abilene, Texas, a 20-year-old man was armed with a gun at his apartment complex. He argued with his roommate, then tied him up and demanded money. The robber fell asleep, and the roommate managed to get free around 4 a.m. and call police. The robbery suspect was still asleep when police arrived. It has long been known that when you skimp on sleep, you're far more likely to overeat, make poor food choices, and gain weight. But why is that? Well, researchers from the University of Chicago Medical Center have figured it out. The short answer is, too little sleep gives you the munchies. Now, the long answer, sleep loss amplifies and extends blood levels of a chemical signal that enhances the joy of eating, particularly the guilty pleasures gained from sweet or salty high-fat snack foods. So long or short, pepperoni pizza is tasty. Malia Obama lost her iPhone at Lollapalooza in Chicago over the weekend. So I guess we know who the next leaked photos scandal will be focused on. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the children's audiobook The Adventures of Mr. Teapot by Tatiana Matina, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Be sure to click that notification bell, too, so you'll know when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!